You're ready to download your nav data using Jeppesen Distribution Manager or JDM for Mac for your Garmin 1000. This video will show you how to use Jeppesen Distribution Manager or JDM for Mac to download and program data to your SD cards for uploading into your Garmin G1000 unit. To get started, you'll need two Garmin cards, the Supplemental Data Card and the Nav Data Card, and JDM installed on your Mac desktop or notebook computer. If you don't already have JDM installed, you can download it from www.jeppesen.com slash JDM slash download. You'll also need an internet connection and a Jeppesen account, your username and password. OK, now you're ready to download your databases. To log into JDM, we'll go to Launchpad and select the JDM app icon. Then enter your username and password. Notice that both are case sensitive. If you've forgotten your password, you can receive it by clicking this link. If you haven't already registered, you can do so by clicking this link. To inquire about your existing Jeppesen customer number, or if you are a dealer, commercial, or corporate customer, you can contact us using the feedback form from this same link. Once you've entered your username and password, click Login. Here we see our list of services and any connected devices. First, Insert either the supplemental or nav data card into the SD card reader, depending on which service you'll be updating. Make sure the card is not write protected. The SD card will show up on the left side under the list of devices. On the right side, look for the airport directory services, and you'll see the cycle, as well as the issue date, and the number of updates remaining. To program the service, Click on the service and drag it over to the SD card and release. The service will now be downloaded and programmed to the SD card. On the top right, status messages appear that provide status of the download and a progress bar with time remaining. Once it is programmed, you'll get a message that tells you that the service has been programmed successfully and the card is ready for use. Before your flight, you should check any alerts pertaining to your programmed Jeppesen data. You can do so by clicking the link here or from the jeppesen.com web page. Once that card is programmed, make sure to click on the eject button to the right of the card drive before ejecting the card from your computer. You can now program any supplemental databases you like. Next, we'll program the nav data card. Remove the supplemental data card and insert the nav data card into the SD card slot. Now that the nav data card is identified under the list of devices, you can scroll down to locate the nav data service. Click and drag it over the SD card drive and release. Some services are larger in size and may take longer to download. After the database has been downloaded, it will be programmed to the SD card. Again, a status message will indicate that the card is programmed successfully and is ready for use. Before your flight, you should check any alerts pertaining to your program Jeppesen data. You can do so by clicking the link here. For more information on each service, click on Service Details to view current cycle, the issue date for the current cycle, as well as the next cycle and the issue date for the next cycle and your subscription renewal date, and a link to renew your subscription if needed. Also, you'll see a picture of the type of media to use for that particular service. Close out of that screen and you're done. Now you're ready to upload the databases into the Garmin G1000 unit.